Hi, I'm Benjamin Siegel. And I'm Akiva Martyr. And here's your Week, Week at, at a Glance. Glance. Last week, we left off as students anticipated a town hall meeting on the Wilf campus. During that meeting, the president revealed to students the big news that the faculties of Yeshiva College and Stern College for Women will be consolidated. The effort, which will take place over the next three years, will be led by Dean Karen Bacon, the current dean for Stern College. Yeshiva College Dean Barry Eichler will return to teaching and retire his position in the near future. Provost Selma Botman, who attended the meeting, told female attendees that the change will provide curricular opportunities for students. The shifts for departments are not clear at this time, though several unconfirmed adjunct professors will be let go. At the town hall, President Joel fielded questions from students on the matter and made clear in an email statement that the decision was long in coming. When questioned about the decision's transparency, he told students it was finalized only that day. For more upcoming events, let's turn to Kaylin and Abigail. Hi, I'm Kaylin Shehan. And I'm Abigail Adler. We've got many events in the arts this week. First up is the Classics Club premiere event this Monday, titled A Big Fat Greek Wedding. Hear from Yahir Shahak, a YC Hebrew professor who plays first in the 2014 U.S. National Bible Contest. He'll discuss the roots of languages and the influence classics like Greek and Latin had on what we say today. The event will begin at 7 in room 209 of the 215 building. If you want more culture in your week, there's no reason dance can't do it for you. This Tuesday and Wednesday night, come watch your friends and fellow students and So You Think Stern Can Dance. The annual dance event is choreographed and performed by students and will be in Norman Thomas High School. Doors will open at 7.30 p.m. and it begins at 8. If it's not dance, what about music? The YC Jazz Ensemble will be performing this Thursday in Schoenstein Hall, room 222. The group is led by Professor Jonathan Shapiro and will feature original compositions. But if you don't want to use your ears, this event is about your eyes. Come here, Dr. Ben Backus from SUNY College of Optometry to speak about perceptual learning and plasticity in vision. The event will be Tuesday in room 101 at 7 p.m. There's plenty more happening on campus this week. Dance, music, classic languages, you can add theater to that list. YCDS performance of The Boys Next Door is running this week. You can also join the Fiction Book Club for their latest choice, The Rise and Fall of Great Powers by Tom Rackman. The best-selling novel will be the topic for a night of discussion on Tuesday in room 101 of the downtown 245 Lexington building. It'll be held at 9 p.m. And to top these events off, we'd like to tell you one more. Zach Pollock is coming to Yeshiva University Monday night. Zach is a quadriplegic who is on a mission to inspire others. Get to know him more and hear his story in Yagoda Commons at 7 p.m. Well, that's it for this edition of Week at a Glance. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Akiva Martyr. And I'm Yemen Siegel. And you're watching Shield, Shield News. News.